these people look at themselves in the mirror and tell themselves that they're good people doing the right thing. We're in the middle of a global pandemic here, and all they seem interested in is doing damage to Trump. Much like past media blunders, they were all too excited to inflict pain onto Trump that none of them were interested in getting the actual facts. Besides getting the facts wrong, it's pretty absurd, and you gotta do some serious mental gymnastics to blame Trump for some random guy drinking poison. An Arizona man has died after he took chloroquine phosphate because he believed that it would protect him from the coronavirus. Did you see the president's press conference? Where did you hear about? Yeah, yeah, we saw the, we saw his press conference. It was on a lot, actually. Please turn up the volume for this. An Arizona man has died after attempting to self-medicate chloroquine phosphate, believing it would protect him and his wife from the coronavirus. The man's wife is currently in critical condition, and she tells NBC News that she and her husband decided to take the additive after watching President Trump talk about the potential benefits of chloroquine during one of his televised White House briefings. Yeah, Trump talked about this malaria drug possibly being able to help corona patients, just like many in the media have over the last couple months. But this guy didn't try to take the malaria drug, he took fish tank cleaner. The president talks a lot about hand sanitizer too. Is he to blame if someone decides to drink? hand sanitizer it's quite a stretch to blame trump for this one man's bad decision and of course that standard will never be applied to anybody but trump the guy's wife also took it and is currently in an icu and just take a look at how nbc coerced her to say exactly what they wanted her to trump could say it is you know basically pretty much a cure what would be your message to the american public oh my god don't take anything i don't believe anything, don't believe anything the president says and his people because they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, this is a heartache I'll never get over. Trump never said it was a cure for coronavirus. He said it was a possible treatment, but not FDA approved. And as I showed you earlier, people in the media and in the scientific community have been talking about this for months. Trump never said to take the medication, and he even said it wasn't FDA approved. Sorry to interrupt, but I have an important message for all my viewers. We are facing a global pandemic. Numerous cities around the world are now under a state of emergency. Prepper's Peak is offering a virus safety bundle that comes equipped with a mask, coveralls, gloves, and goggles for an affordable price. If you're serious about taking the same precautionary measures as our servicemen and women, and you're serious about prepping for the worst, then you must consider investing in this potentially life-saving equipment. With an affordable price for everyone, Prepper's Peak introduces the ultimate safety suit, which includes a medical grade P100 particulate respirator, bound seamed coveralls, chemical splash safety goggles, and flock lined green nitrile gloves which heavily reduces the risk from dangerous viruses. Prepare now, and at the very least, you'll have the peace of mind of knowing you're ready. Just go to survivewithdronetech.com. That's survivewithdronetech.com. MSNBC and NBC weren't alone in spreading this misinformation. Over at Twitter, the fake news has spread like a certain virus with The Hill reporting, well, actually, it looks like they've since taken it down. They were getting ratioed hard, so I'm not surprised. Well, here's a screenshot of Tammy Bruce laying into them. Axios also spread this misinformation in a tweet saying, A man has died after ingesting chloroquine phosphate, one of the anti-malaria drugs Trump has mentioned in recent days. Oh, he mentioned it, did he? That's some pretty scummy mental gymnastics you're doing there. And no, he never mentioned anything about taking fish tank cleaner. Great reporting there. You sure are getting us smarter with your fast mattering misinformation. They later responded to the mass criticism they were getting on Twitter saying, we have deleted this tweet and corrected our story because it did not reflect the full nature of the self-medication done with the additive commonly used to clean fish tanks. Wow, it's like we've seen this happen before over and over and over. Over and over. And over and over. And over and over. It's almost like you guys just jump at any story you think you can use to attack 
attack Trump without any regard for the truth. Even the Canadians are getting in on this fake news frenzy with the CBC tweeting out, quote, Arizona man dead, woman in critical condition after ingesting chemical touted by U.S. President Donald Trump as a potential COVID-19 treatment. Don't believe anything that president says, the woman tells NBC. Call your doctor. Oh, how convenient that what she says matches exactly what the media is saying. Such professionalism. You know why they're flailing about so wildly trying to attack Trump? Because currently he has a majority of the country's approval in his handling of this outbreak. But leave it to the media to even spin that negatively. 53% do approve of the way the president is handling it. Although that is changing. The president now appears to be backing away from recommendations that people should stay home over a long period of time because of his concerns about the effects on the economy. They spent about 10 seconds on that poll, their own poll, which showed a majority of Americans support Trump's handling of this outbreak. The media is supposed to be objective, but clearly they're taking a position here and casting Trump as being on the wrong side of it. These people claim to be our betters and defenders of the truth, but they're actually just political activists who aren't fooling anyone but themselves. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on one of these platforms, and you can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.